Today I wanted to give you a deeper dive into what I'm using on my Amiga site, especially for the folks who are just getting started. Kind of forgotten how helpful and useful it was to see these types of videos and I'll leave links in the description. Likely you are finding this video in my Make the Internet Great Again 2021 case study series. At the time of recording this, my Amiga site is just over four months old. In fact, today is May 8th, so you could say four months and one week. And for some quick stats, just so you know how good this is or not, in the last 30 days, for a four month and one week old site, I've seen 1,296 users, 1,881 sessions, and 2,115 page views. And again, that is the last 30 days, according to Google Analytics. Analytics 4. Is that good? I don't know. That's just what it is. I'll leave it for you to do the judging. First, the domain is brand new. I bought it from Namecheap for like $8. This is not an aged domain case study. For hosting, I'm using SiteGround and nothing special. For the theme, I'm using Generate Press and I am using the free version, not the premium. Currently for photos, I am taking pictures on my own or I am using free stock photography from Pixabay. Eventually in the future, my plan is to get all the stock photography off and just have my own photos. But for now, that's where I'm at. As far as keyword tools, I am not spending any money or utilizing keyword tools for the most part for this site. I will admit to doing a little bit of research with a friend's Ahrefs account, but the bulk of the keyword research for this site has been done without it. And on a regular basis, like a daily basis, the only real like tool that I use is the What's My SERP Chrome extension. For speed at this point, I'm using Ezoic's Leap. And right now, because I'm using Leap, I'm not using any other speed or optimization tools because they don't play well. As far as plugins go, I honestly didn't think that I had very many. I figured, oh, it's like two or three, but then I went to the list and it was like, oh, maybe it's a few more. I'm using Easy Table of Contents, Zoic plugin, Gutenberg blocks, insert headers and footers. I am at this time trialing Link Whisper on the site. I'm using Rank Math and the Ultimate Add-ons plugin, Updraft for doing backups, WP Word Count to help with my obsessive nature to figure out how many posts and how many words I've created, and WP Forms Lite. For monetization, you'll recall that I got the site into Ezoic back in the middle of February when it was just about brand new, and I'm also approved for the Amazon Associates program but I'm not doing any other monetization efforts on the site at this point. And then in the last few weeks, I have added some outsourcing for content through Writer Access. I thought this was going to be really simple, but it sounds way more complicated than it is. The truth is the only thing that I'm really spending money on consistently, like on a monthly basis, is probably outsourcing written content. Obviously paying for the domain was necessary and hosting was necessary, even though for this site, I didn't pay extra to add it on because I already had an account going. But almost all the plugins that I use, I utilize the free versions of them. I don't do the pro version. And for the most part, I keep my expenses really low. My strategy is really around creating content. And maybe I'm missing some things by not having like the super advanced SEO this or the super awesome keyword this or this plugin that does backflips. Like, like I don't know. Ask me again in 12 months. Better yet, ask me at the end of December after I have put 12 months solid into this site. Because at this point, it's really too early to tell one way or another whether it was a good idea to do it this way or not. I'd like to think that seeing 2,000 page views in the last 30 days is a good sign, but I'm not really going to obsess about the number right now. That's a distraction. Ultimately, what I need to be doing is just getting to the computer as much as possible and producing content. And frankly, focusing on the traffic, something I cannot control, is not the, the best mental health strategy. Instead, I'm just really focused on the things that I can control, which is how much content I can produce. If you want to see if I can put 500 posts up on this brand new blog, then come along with me. It'll be great to have you.